Hello, teachers, professors, and anyone else who's driven mad trying to create repeating dates in Excel for like Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever. Um, it's something that drove me crazy. Every fall and spring, I'd have to calculate what the dates were. And, and before I figured this out, I would go into my, my calendar and basically type in by hand each Tuesday, Thursday of the week for the semester. And I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you are looking at teaching for the rest of your life and having to do that every semester, it seems really tedious. So I figured there must be a faster way to do this. And it turns out there is. So what I'm gonna show you now is how you can create repeating dates in Excel for, uh, you know, let's say uh, Tuesday, Thursday, we'll start with. Uh, you could also do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, anything like that so that they're all generated automatically and correctly. You don't have to worry that you entered in the wrong dates and you don't have to go through the tedium of trying to figure out what every Tuesday, Thursday is for the semester or, or whatever you happen to be working on. So first thing what we want to do is enter in a date. And so let's say that uh, my class starts on 8 uh, 27 and don't have to worry about the year. You could if you wanted to, we can hit enter and it's automatically generating itself as a month, indicating a day and month. And this is my, my favorite way of showing that in Excel, but you might have a different way, that's fine. If you want to, you can go into Format, Cells, make sure that is set as date if it's listed as something else, and then you can pick what you want that date to look like. And as far as um, this system has been working for me, uh, it looks like choosing this day and then month um, indication is, is the best way in Excel to do that. So then we get into a little bit of running, um, equations, you know, in Excel, which hopefully you're somewhat familiar with, but if you're not, it's not too hard. So what we want to do, let's say this is a Tuesday. We want to make this, uh, next, uh, cell that day plus two, right? Cause that would be Wednesday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we go equals this plus two. And lo and behold, now we have the date for the Tuesday and the date for the Thursday. Now, here's the tricky part. That would be fine. We could just keep, you know, drag this out and keep doing that. But the problem is that the next Tuesday is not two days after August 29. It's five days. You have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, Monday, right? So we need to do that this equals. I hit equals, and then I click on that column, and then I go plus five. Great. Now, the tricky part is when you want to start dragging this out so you don't have to re-enter in that calculation over and over again. All you have to do is drag this out and it will automatically enter the Tuesdays and Thursdays after that. But you know how, you have to know what to drag <laughs> and how to drag it. Um, I feel that goes for a lot of things in life. But anyway, um, what you want to do is select these two that have the equations. And as long as you select these two and keep dragging, it will automatically alternate the two. So it will do plus two, plus five, plus two, plus five. All right. And the problem is that in, in my Excel anyway, it's not showing me what the calculations are adding up to. So you basically just have to keep dragging until you know that you're past the end of the semester or whatever date you want to be the end of this repeating. And then if you run past that, you can just delete those cells. That's, it's not hard. So we're going to grab those two and I'm grabbing the right uh, lower hand right corner. If you're not familiar with this, this is how you can extend things in Excel. And I let go and it automatically repeats that those equations. So we have 29, 27, 29, 3, 5, 10, 12, 17. Isn't that amazing? Now if that doesn't blow your mind, I'm not sure why you're watching this video. But now I have the Tuesday, Thursdays all the way through November and I could have just kept going on ad nauseum and it would have just kept doing Tuesday Thursdays throughout the rest of eternity okay so super nice super easy way generate all those you don't have to worry that they're um, that they're all correct I mean you can go and double check make sure you got it right but even just glancing at it 3 5 then we had 5 10 uh, 12 add 5 17 or 19 so on and so forth so that right there <laughs> saves you, you know, maybe five to 10 minutes of the tedious irritation of going through a calendar and manually entering it in and hoping that you get it right. So let's say that instead you want to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just for fun. So we're going to say 827 again is let's make that a Monday just for the fun of it. So then we want to do so 
Wednesday would be plus 2, right? So we go equals that plus 2. And now we're on to Wednesday. And then the next one would be equals that the previous cell plus 2 equals that plus 2. And then this is where it gets tricky because this equals that plus Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so plus 3 like so forth, and then we do plus two, whoops, my bad, sorry, equals that plus two equals that plus two. All right, and now we're going to, um, let's just grab these last three here, start dragging down, and so we have Monday plus two is five, for Wednesday, plus 2 is Friday, and then Saturday is the 8th, Sunday is the 9th, and then we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus Saturday is the 15th, Sunday is the 16th, 17th, Tuesday 18th, blah, blah, blah. You get it? So um, that is how you can do it. And obviously, um, any if you wanted it Monday, Friday, if you wanted it Wednesday, Saturday, whatever, you can repeat that same thing over and over again. The main trick is figuring out which section, which which sections to grab, and um, so that if you're if you're messing with anything other than a, a Tuesday, Thursday, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday type equation, then just kind of experiment with what you grab. There's nothing to grab in the first one, so you don't have to worry about that. There's no equation there, but typically you grab from the second one through the the rest of the changing equation. So until it repeats itself, you grab those and then drag it down, but Whatever works for you. I mean, it's it's not a big deal if you do a few extras and then um, drag it as long as the the equations are repeating themselves. Okay, that, so that's the the important thing. Whatever section you you grab, that has to be the section that you want to repeat over and over again, if that makes sense. So it, you wouldn't want to grab it midsection, like a plus plus two plus two. Um, plus five plus two. You know, then then you'd start to get the order out of line and, and things could go haywire. But at, at any rate, you can rewatch this video if anything went too fast for you. But that is a pretty quick and easy way to do weird repeating dates in Excel. It's always easy if you just want to do once every week, that's a piece of cake. You just do the date plus seven and um, and then just drag that plus seven one. Um, down that that's no problem where it gets complicated is when it's not once a week um, it's it's or basically it gets complicated when the dates uh, in between change and so this is how you can get around that so I hope that that was helpful to you is like revolutionize my life I mean um, I'm not going to re retire based on or anything but it's it's definitely taken the tedium of uh going through the calendar and trying to figure out what are the Tuesdays and Thursdays for each semester really easy for me and maybe you have some other repeating dates that you've been manually entering which is a pain this will make it faster and also uh, reduce the likelihood that you have any errors so hope that was helpful to you